Welcome to Javai Jesam and recently one of my students given the interview in the TCS and I hope you already know TCS asking very core concept and if you give those answer core concept he will easily select you okay so it's not a hard and it's not a easy it's a moderate level questions you can say so the guys who have given the interview he have a like a four to five year experience as a java developer and this is the first round coding questions he have given okay so for the first round in the tcs they ask one uh, like very tricky questions like uh, print a 1 to 100 prime numbers using a java 8 features and do it in a single line don't use multiple line or create a function and do, do all those things okay they just ask please do in the single line of the code using the java 8 features so he has started thinking about it and uh, he has started development but let's go and develop it so for our perspective we just have to see the solutions okay we don't want to waste our time okay so let's go to our uh, sts and let me create one classes okay so i'm going to create class as a print prime numbers prime numbers in one line this is the simple classes i have created okay in this class what i'm going to do is if you see here the our requirement is we have to write a code to print the prime numbers in a one line okay so first we have to think about okay how we can generate because without loop is there any way to generate a number from 1 to 100 okay then after only we can put the conditions and we can do the filters right that is the main things you have to keep in your minds okay so if you go in the java 8 features and if you explore to generate the number from 1 to 100 how we can do it so we have a one int stream because we have to generate the integer so in the stream they have provided one interface okay this is the int stream if i open you can see this is the int stream is a interface they have provided and they have a lots of other methods so this in stream having a method called range close okay if you see they have method range also range close also so if you want you have you are targeting like uh, starting with one or ending with hundred so you have to uh, include those also one and hundred then go with the range close okay and let's start with one and go up to hundred right so this is the one of the way to generate the numbers okay so we can easily generate the numbers and here you can iterate for loop and you can print all those data so let me print it system dot out let's go with the functional interface and print ln okay so this is called method reference i have given here to print the data let me run this code easily so if i run this code you can see the output it will generate 1 to 100 okay including 1 to 100 if you use the range it will not go to 1 or it will it will not go to 100 it will not go up to 100 okay that is the differences okay next thing is maybe you require to filter some data okay you don't want to print uh, all those data so what you can do is you can generate the data and then after you can use the filters okay and in the filter you can say hey i don't want all those numbers i want the numbers which is prime numbers so you can easily say here and you want maybe even numbers not a prime numbers and modulo division with two if any number with modulo division with two equal to equal to zero it means those numbers are even numbers correct and if you go and if you print it you can see all those even numbers he printed if you want odd numbers just not equal to correct you can just write here not equal to okay let me write not equal to if you write not equal to it will print the odd numbers okay in the same way if you want to filter the like number which is uh, uh, what we called prime numbers then for that what are the condition is required simply you can write hey n will start with uh, for example um, 1 and check if n is greater 
one by one we can take the numbers if n is greater than one because one is not a prime numbers and we can skip one and then after we can use hey this is the one condition and second is we have to divide with all other numbers all other numbers means up to sqrt a square of that sqrt of that numbers a square root of that numbers if you divide and if it is successfully divide with uh, and it will uh, remainder will come as a zero then we can consider this is the prime numbers okay in that case what we can do is we can say interstream dot we can use range close again and we have to divide the numbers starting with two and it will go up to how, how numbers math dot sqrt so here we can use math dot sqrt of that numbers and please convert it into the integers this is the one thing so we have to do so this is the range close i have just written the range interstream dot range closed eh, same methods i have to use here also interstream dot range close that's it so this is the filters we have done okay and once this filter is happening okay then after we have to check okay we have to divide this numbers but if non match if non match with let's say we have a number called uh, uh, we are dividing with i into i so we can say um, let's suppose we have a i and into i and uh, it's going to divide with n modulo division i equal to equal to zero then we have to collect those numbers correct we have to collect those numbers simply so here only itself in the interstream range close we are going with 2 and it will go up to number of sqrt and then after we are checking non match of i from the i to of sqrt of that numbers okay and uh, it will divide by i and it will check if it is not what if it is not zero then only print those number this is the simply we are saying with that code so if you go and if you see 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 19 those are the prime numbers they have printed so what we have done exactly so the main features you can see here is this one only okay first generate the number 1 to 100 so this is the stream is created 1 to 100 and then after do the filter so if you see the filter methods it's up to that it's a big method of filters so we are saying like n is not uh, n is greater than uh, one then only we can consider then after interstream dot range close to uh, start with the two because every numbers which is divided with is divided with uh, two two sqr of uh, uh, sqr of that numbers sqrt of that numbers and if it is non match which division by uh, i up to that is not equal to zero then only consider non match then only you can consider it otherwise we can't consider it okay this is the conditions we have to use to print the prime numbers in one line okay i hope you guys understood thank you so much okay we can connect in some other video and we can discuss more about it okay so let's go and just stop my recording